Hey, True Believers England team here, and uh, we've got more uh, more new books. Actually, uh, this time around, we're going to be re reviewing Batman number 100. Dun, dun, dun. All righty. Oh, all three of us have uh, different covers. All righty. So who wore it best? Let us know in the comments below which cover you like better. <laughs> Eric Breens. Whoops. Okay, well, I guess we don't all have different because <laughs> the same as uh, is Venkman's. All righty, y'all got wraparounds. I didn't. This doesn't wrap around, but that's the cover I got. I got the cover B. <laughs> there you go. Let us know in the comments below which cover you like the best. Um, now, well, I, I got to say, you know what? No. I'm, oh, no, guys, you're done. We're going to go on and talk about the book. Yeah. I was going to say, we can always put it together, too. <laughs> Oh, could we? <laughs> well, we were going to freeze like the end of an old, you know, TV episode. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. Um, so you know, I uh, it, when the Joker War started, I had a little problem with it. I thought there's no real continuity. It's everything was a mess in the storytelling, mm -hmm. but every individual issue was a fun read. No matter how far into it, it just was an entertaining story. And uh, I thought some of the stuff was interesting. Some of it was stupid theaters full of dead people. I was thinking, yeah, really? I don't know about that. Um, but still, I, I enjoyed and was entertained by every issue. And then I got to 100. <laughs> um, before I slam this, does anybody love this book? I don't want to mess up your uh, or rain on your parade. Well, there are some parts I do like it. Some I think it was just, just overly and ridiculous. Uh, but uh, yeah, I did not get the ending I expected to get. Um, kind of felt like you set it up and then you just you said, you know what? Yeah, I don't feel like playing today, and just went home. Frankly, I was a little disappointed that we never got our Batman moment. Nope. There was there was absolutely no Batman moment in this book. Um, I mean, this is this is the finale. The Batman's been torn down again. I mean, we we should have gotten a Batman rallies, and this is his awesome. I'm the freaking Batman moment, and that never came. However, we had a Harley Quinn moment. She got to be the hero. But is it me, or was this basically forty pages of? Uh, of Batman getting his ass whipped until Harley Quinn comes and take you know, takes care of business, and then we got another twenty pages of set up for the next few storylines in Batman. Uh, I, I, am I wrong? Am I crazy on this one? <laughs> if we're going spoilery a little bit, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some minor to major spoilers. So be careful if this is. Uh... Uh, I'm trying to think. Everybody's it. read it by now. I got. I gotta say that uh, the fact that after everything that Joker's done, the fact that Joker knows who he is, Batman's decision at the end. It's just like, are you kidding me? Well, he's got to be your hero. He can't kill. Doesn't mean he can't let somebody else just shoot the person in the head and actually let it go through. Well, he did walk away from the bomb. And gave the Joker a chance. Oh, okay. Yeah. After we're... telling him, I'll just say, after I'll just say, it's kind of a spoiler. Yes, yes. But he did the whole... Batman Begins. I don't have to. Uh, I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. Bit. It was Dark Knight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know no, that was Batman Begins. Or was it the, Begins? Yeah. You know, the, yeah. With the bombs. Because it was Rachel Gould. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was thinking more of uh, the bombs. So basically, if you read this, if you've been reading Joker Ward, the last uh, issue had Alfred coming, you know, coming at Batman and the Joker is standing in Batman's I-1 suit. And um, I thought, OK, that's a great cliffhanger. The, the, I'm, I'm so jazzed for issue number 100 now. And uh, this is literally... Um, Joker stabs Batman in the back, and then it's, like I said, it's like 40 pages or so, 20, 30, whatever, of Joker just beating this teetotal snot out of Batman to the point where he's on his back. Um, and uh, then Hivey, I, I, not Hivey, Hivey, I'm, I'm mixing Harley and Ivy together. Harley uh, shoots the Joker, 
doesn't kill him because that killing blow should go to uh go to batman not like harley hasn't been abused for for years by the joker so maybe she does deserve a kill um and uh, instead, Harley sets up a bomb and says, well, you can catch me, Batman, or you can save the Joker. And uh, that's when the Batman basically says, I don't have to kill. I, I won't kill you. I just don't have to save you. And he walks away. But the way but him saying that is just meaningless because he already said, explain how he could save the Joker to the mm -hmm. Joker. I know. He gave him instructions and everything. All right, Breen, you're just standing there. Let me All right. There. <laughs> okay. A 100th issue, an anniversary issue, something awesome should happen. And maybe something did, if you want to count, Barbara becoming Oracle again, doing something she could have been doing all along. Mm -hmm. So how awesome is it? You know, she comes together and starts directing everybody, which is a much more important role than anything she could ever do physically as Batgirl. So what what grand gesture has she accomplished there batman is useless in his own book harley quinn who spent all of issue 98 and 99 saying how this has to end joker has to die and if you won't do it i will oh yeah By all means put him in a death trap that it's not like he's never escaped from one of those before yeah, you're right about that. The whole and, thing, and we were talking about how great Harley was in those issues yeah. because she was laying down the law. It's going, it's going to be this way. Either you are going to kill him or I'm going to kill him was what Harley Quinn was telling the Batman. And she just, she, she wimps out. And then, you know, we get to the epilogues and, you know, the Batman Harley one. I, I'm going to be a better Batman. He says it to her. I know, right? What, what, what explanation does he does, does? I know why her. Yeah, and then we get then we get the Batman that I that I was saying I was so happy to not see in Two Jokers issue two, the one that threatens someone that's actually taking criminals off the board with much more zeal and gusto than he ever puts into capturing, you know murder and you know genocidal maniacs but he sure gave clown hunter what the what for yeah and then of course we get I, the joker free and clear it does it seems like he's harder on the clown hunter than he is on the joker in this issue and and i depending on who you talk to everybody's got an explanation for that i'm too old to care to hear it at this point i, I said you know this was bangman Smartest it's thing he's said guy since love. You. It's guy love. Yeah. Smartest thing I've ever heard you say since I've met you was what <laughs> the way you described this particular issue. Like he got to that issue and said, I don't want to play anymore in life. <laughs> Pretty much. That was that I, I I'm gonna steal it. No, I'm not I'm gonna let you have that one. That was that was brilliant. This <laughs> was a colossal disappointment. Now I will say in one thing I will give you know, Tynan one bit of cover. There's only so many ways this could have ended because there's so many things that can't get to the table as far as things like you get, you know, well, I want to bring Alfred back. I want that to be the big bang. No, not going to bring him back until whenever because you know he's coming back at some point. Okay, yeah, I'm going to control the Joker. Oh, sorry. No, we don't do that here. So, I no. mean, you know, with the restrictions, it's still underperformed. Now, I, I didn't read Tom King's Batman. Is what happened to James Gordon? Is he dead? <clears throat> no, he's been all over Joker War. Yeah, because why was because it was weird because you saw you saw Harvey talking to uh, James like you know out loud, and I'm like, but James isn't there, so what's that going was on? The best part of the book. So yeah, and I believe yeah, that was the best part of the book. So uh, I there shockingly a part of the book that I did enjoy was this. Was Punchline's whole, uh, I'm a victim, blah, blah, blah. And basically, and I love the fact that, yeah, if you read through it, subtly she's talking up the Joker. You know, she, all the yeah. time that she's saying she was a victim of the Joker, she's also kind of saying how awesome he is and how he's a, a visionary and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
and it's even uh, mentioned by the Joker in the next page how, oh, that was subtle, but that was very good. And if you read through it, she really is. She's She really does end up uh, saying a lot about the Joker. Now, I think uh, narratively, I said it before and I'll say it again, watch the video for, but you know, it's kind of dated now. Um, Punchline should have died in this issue. I think it would have been narrative uh, narratively better. She should have died at the hands of Harley Quinn. Um, I because I don't see a purpose for her. We have we have her character in so many other characters, Magpie or the Body Doubles or Harley Quinn herself. Uh, Punchline's been out there for a long, long time by by other names. So. I'm not a big fan of the character, but I did think that they really, uh, Tinian really did uh, nail those well, two pages. Excuse I'll me. Beg, I'll beg you up on that. Yeah, she either should have killed her or whatever it is. It's the fact that when you look at her in this issue, before the epilogue, she got her ass handed to her by two different people. And the fact that she's supposed to be, uh, I'm a tough girl, undefeatable, I'm the Joker's girlfriend, you're worse than Harley. Well, anybody can say that. Yeah. Yeah, she, oh. she you know, eventually, it, it's like you said, she caught him by surprise the first time when it when you know, people with much more experience had time to figure out what her limited skill set were. They were able to, you know. Yeah, yeah when, my, my I, I did also cool. like the Nightwing fight with Punchline where yeah. he's like, yeah, you're not dealing with rick grayson anymore you know, i'm paraphrasing but that's basically what he says uh, again, i'm again, wondering if they're going to try to pit her against the joker and say if she's be the new joker oh you know because she's no. better than she is because no. the way she is and you remember it she's like well he, wait the bombs are supposed to go why is he doing his already he's starting everything already early you're not supposed to do that because the joker does what he wants to do he doesn't listen to you so the the stakes of this entire joker war Everybody knows who Batman is now. Coward. Okay. And again, like I said, we killed Bendis for doing this with Superman. They didn't put the genie back in the bottle. Bruce Wayne as Batman is effectively finished. You know, if you know, if, looking well, at it in those terms. Well, Joker knows. That doesn't mean that Punchline knows. That doesn't mean that. Uh, Do you really yeah. think that nobody else knows? Even That's if it is just Joker. That's that's still, you know, if if they can make that, if they can contain that, then I guess. But you know, but I guess the only it turns out the only stakes in this because we didn't get any major character death was the return of Oracle. Well, yeah, that you're right. That's is, is that what we went through twenty five issues for? We got we got Nightwing back and we got Oracle back. Those, those, that's the change. That's the big change. And I agree. I agree with Oracle should have been, she should have been Oracle a long time ago. Begin it. Look at how she, how she handled Cataclysm. Just the first thing, even though she's in a wheelchair, but everybody needed that, you know, as far as on an ear, you know, a comic. She's much better than that than she is on the streets. We already have freaking a whole bunch of Robins. Oh, we've been, she we've, ran the DC universe for a decade. Yes, well. saying that for a, since New Fifty Two started, me and Brain since since before me and Brain were talking, we were in agreement that or Batgirl should have stayed Oracle. And as far as Joker or Joker goes, I'm just getting. I, I I understand people are are upset with Joker. I'm more upset with Batman. Joker does what he's like, does what he's going to do with the fact that he knows the secret. They've turned, basically turned him into the Green Goblin. He's Norman Osborn now. Now he knows, you know, the the superhero's secret identity. He knows all their identities before he just speculated. Now he knows. And what's to say that he's not going to do everything exactly that the Green Goblin's done to Peter Parker? Who's also going to die? Whenever the Green Goblin's up, someone dies. That's, that's one of the reasons why something drastic should have been done to the Joker. They And here's the thing. They could have killed him because now we have the three Jokers which would have said that only one of them got killed. Yeah. You know, so there's one left and that would be, you know, the real one. Um, so they could have, they could have matched it. And, uh, and that's, that's how they handled this one. The other thing I thought was kind of dumb too, is that the epilogue where they see the Joker there. And so I'm like, Joker's the only freak around that has bleach white skin and wears a purple thing and has all stuff. And tell me this guy, is that, that stupid? The Gothamite? Wow. Gotham. They must be dumb people then, if they, the if they way, can't recognize. Where was the rest of the Bat family, other than you know, 
Dick and Barbara in this issue. Uh, they were fighting against hordes of jokers. Yeah, so they were they were off off camera for basically. Yeah, yeah, they showed up a little bit. You know, remember, Nightwing um, said you're not you're not going up against. Oh no, you know, no, I said I said other than Dick and Barbara. Or, 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 yeah, no. But after that, she goes. Uh, you know, all her henchmen comes up. And she says, well, you know, the odds of change, he goes, I agree. That's and right. and the okay. Bat family drops down. I forgot about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, goodness, there there are scenes like that I loved. And maybe that's the thing. And maybe this is, this is the saving grace. I liked the Bat family stuff. I didn't like the Batman stuff. The main story, Batman versus the Joker, was throwaway to me, which it shouldn't have been. But I really did enjoy... The, uh, the Bat Family stuff, it, it was just a heck of a lot better. Once again, though, say what you will about the uh, the story. I've got to I gotta praise the art. I, I think this is a good-looking book. Um, I uh, I was thinking, wait a second, is it Fibok? No, that is the two Jokers, or three well, Jokers, right? Yeah, I'll, just say, I'll just say, uh, I'll just say this. Every Before time Batman yeah. gets stabbed by the Joker, you should be taking a shot, of whiskey. Oh my goodness gracious! He stabbed him in places that would have crippled him. So, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, great art, great art story. But like I said, I think the saving grace is going to be to me the the side characters. But um, I'll just say this alone is the best panel of the whole entire book. Yeah, <laughs> Nightwing just stepping up saying, I'm about to kick your ass, punchline, and there ain't nothing you're going to be doing about it. You're broke. <laughs> now you're going to get broke even worse, physically. <laughs> Here's the, yeah, just like, uh, yeah, you, you screwed my head. I am about to beat you down, and you're just going to have to watch. <laughs> but, yes, uh, yeah, I, I can't believe how much uh, knife play Batman gets, you know, with Joker. And it, it's just like he just stands there and takes it. It's like, wait, didn't you have your whole feeling sorry for myself before and you got over that? I'm the Batman. But here, Joker, I'm funny. That, that happens once every uh, art, <laughs> artist and writer change. But uh, and if you're buying this book for Catwoman, she has a small, small section. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she shows yes, up. I hope you're doing all right. All right, back to doing what I'm doing. It was like they said, hey, wait, did we include the Catwoman? It was, well, just draw one panel. We'll stick she's it somewhere. on the cover, but she's only in it for, like, that much. <laughs> there you go. All righty, so let's let's rate this. Uh, one is horrible. Two is bad. Three is average. Four is good. Five is excellent. Uh, Breen, where would, what, what do you think? This one I am going to put right down the middle. With a three? Yeah, um, for every good, you know, cool moment, it had a head shaking moment, and oh. and I just want to do a preface. I said, you know, I, I said it may have been a disappointment as you know, uh, um, a climax, a, a conclusion to a, a large story, but it's still. I am curious to see what happens next. I mean, he's built up enough goodwill to where I am. I I am along for the ride going forward. Okay. I'm going to uh, actually change it. This is only our second time using the numbers. I'm going to change it right away is, uh, you know, it's the, I'm going to use the, it's my channel. I could do what I want rule. And uh, here's the thing. One and two is horrible. Three and four is bad. Five and six is average. Seven and eight is good. And nine and 10 is excellent. Just because I want to be able to say this. I'm going to give this one a five because this is a low average. When we just when we uh, reviewed re deceased, I gave it a three star. That would be a six because it's a high average. Both may be getting, you know, that, that average score, but I just want to state that because this is almost a two. This is almost that there for me, but not quite. I think, there was enough cool moments with the side characters, with the Bat family, that I I, I gotta say I, I I enjoyed this book. I just can't recommend it to others. Um, with, given that, what would you give it? Uh, the six. Six. I would yeah, be slightly higher than you. And all right, how about you, Venkman? Where does it stand for you? I'll give it a six for this. Oh yeah, yeah. The, I, I've been loving those the Snickers commercial. Yeah, they look like the old uh, Hostess Twinkie. Uh, 
I yeah. guess uh, it has its flaws. No comic is perfect. If you expect to have a perfect comic today, yeah, good luck with that. Um, with me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, the epilogues, yeah, I, I agree with Brute Brain said about the whole thing with the Batman being more Batman than he was in the main story. Yeah. So, and just like, it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like, we had Flash last week, I'll just hug Reverse Flash. I'll hug him. That's kind of what I felt like Bam was going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hug you, Joker. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dr. Evil, come on. Come on. Come here. Hug Scott. But That's that what I felt different. like. I mean, that, that, you know, he found a way to basically undo Thawne in a way that he couldn't come back from. I guess it made sense, but Bam was like, it, but, it's like yeah. Bam is like, well, Barry try this. I'll try it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's just, um. <laughs> so what? What would so, you score? Uh, it's slightly below average. Slightly below. So you're you're going bad. It was a four, huh? I'd say it's a four because the fact that it's yeah, there's a lot of cool, there's a lot of stuff in here, but overall, it's just like he did his did it because you're like, you know what? We'll add this. We'll add this. Add this. We go, but after all, we put it together. It's like what? All righty. So okay. out of uh, oh, gone ahead, bring. I have a question. You know, as far as your grading scale goes. Does does the way you grade take the art into account at all? Yeah, of course. Okay, because I, yeah, because um, let's, okay, say this would have had your favorite artist doing it. Oh, How it would, low would it have gone. It, it would it would have been a it it may have been a three. Okay, uh, with a Riley Rosmo art. Uh, this is a beautiful book to look at, but Riley Rosmo. Oh, look at that. If this whole book was like that, I'd give it a 10. <laughs> Riley Rosmo is reason to fail anything. Um, I, there have been stories that I could, oh, this is good. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Because Riley Rosmo <laughs> art, it's just horrible, horrible stuff. Uh, but there you go. All right. So out of a possible 30, we give this book a 15. A four, a five, and a, a, and a six. So and a, there and you a super go. super grading skill. I'd say it's just well, meh, well, yeah, meh. But before James Tynan you know, gets a little, you know, um, what's that? None. Um, before he gets you, know, starts thinking too high of himself. I I grade easier than Paul Abdul. <laughs> All righty, and you still went with six. Okay, uh, good to know that I'm not the uh, I'm not the pushover on this one. Extreme movie show, maybe, but here uh, I'm okay. All righty, gang. Well, there you go. That's what we got to say about uh, uh, about Batman number one hundred. Remember, let us know which cover you thought was better in the comments below, as well as what did you think? Did you read it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What score would you give it on that same scale? Remember, one and two is horrible. Three and four is bad. Five and six is average. Seven and eight is good. And nine and 10 is excellent. What score would you give it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to click on one of the videos that are toss going up right around here and click on like, share, subscribe. Yep. Uh, and if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that to everyone. All of the true believers. Thank you very, very much for watching.